What's going on fellas, we're back at it again with another video. Now today we're going to be talking about DJ Academics, he's a pretty big YouTuber and most people know him for covering news and like rap stories and stuff like that. He's also a pretty big streamer on Rumble and Twitch, but pretty much he's been going through a lot of controversy lately, we're going to get into it. Pretty much since the beginning that he started doing social media, he has been extremely controversial since he blew up covering news stories about Chicago. He had this news channel called Warren Chirac, if y'all don't know Chirac is just a term that means more people passed away in Chicago from violence than the war in Iraq, which is kind of a crazy statistic, would cover people passing away in tragic and violent ways and pretty much just make fun of them. That's how he blew up. I'm literally not even joking. Pretty much there was a home invasion at his house. His girlfriend's best friend set him up to get robbed, which is just wild to think about. You know what happened? She had hit her boyfriend before she came because, you know, her boyfriend's like, wait, why are you going to so-and-so? She's like, oh, I'm going to hang out with my best friend who's dating so-and-so. This chick is dating a career criminal. You get what I mean? They're not like, oh, have fun in his house, then come back here and we're going to do some crimes together. They said, oh, great, let's rob him. This was eventually going to happen by the people he surrounds himself by. And there were a ton of warning signs his girl was eventually going to do this. DJ Academics himself says he has a huge substance abuse problem, but his problem isn't as bad as his girlfriend's is. Now, his girlfriend's name is Cheyenne. Now, Cheyenne has probably something like bipolar disorder. I mean, it's not far-fetched from what I'm about to tell you guys. But Cheyenne and academics constantly get into fights. And at this point, the police pretty much know about them quite well. Since they keep getting called over to academics' house to try and defuse arguments and situations, you feel me? So, academics has multiple safes around his house with a ton of cash. He said he's gotten this much cash from gambling and stuff like that. So his girlfriend Cheyenne pretty much memorizes all of the safes combinations. At this point, Academics has close to a million dollars or around a million dollars in all of his safes at this point. Cheyenne decides to take half a million dollars out of the safes. And obviously anyone is going to notice half a million dollars missing. And Cheyenne goes on a spending spree and buys a like $100,000 car. And it doesn't take that long for Academics to catch on. Academics eventually catches Catches her with socks filled up with money. He checked her ring camera that was in her Houston apartment or house, whatever. Looked at her camera. Her ring camera that's in her kitchen in Houston. Right after she just moved or she just left. One of them, like she leave, come back, leave. She took my money in socks. I, I count my money and I put them in $50,000 wads. It was in big socks that she put them in. And when I looked at the camera in Houston, out the sock, 50,000. Out the sock, 50,000. Out the sock, 50,000. She put the money in her safe. Obviously, stealing half a million dollars from someone is super illegal. Academics went to the police, and at this point, with all of this proof, they could have easily locked Cheyenne up for years. She was literally caught in 4K on ring cameras and everything. Academics asked for the money back and at this point obviously Cheyenne's going to give the money back because half a million is like serious jail time I confront her on the phone I say yo Cheyenne I'm gonna keep it a being with you yo I don't know what's going on with you or whatever but like I got you on my camera I got you on your own ring camera that I screen recorded I still got the screen recording I said I could put you in jail you know if you go to jail for this you're going to jail for decades you stole from it who gave you everything you're gonna run a warrant on her see if she's deposited anything if she deposit anything she's going to jail she breaks down she admits it she says I'm sorry I only stole it because my feelings was hurt I was gonna bring it back you know what? here's what my do I take her back this has to be insane at this point this is like some Stockholm syndrome I don't even know what to say anymore I mean if he didn't want to press charges he shouldn't have taken her back though and so he's pretty much paying for all of her bills at this point which is like 20,000 plus a month he said he should have broken things off completely if he didn't want to press any charges because if you're doing all that for a person and they still steal from you that is just like horrible now recently there was like a viral video on twitter of some girl streaming in the background of academic stream all the twitter detectives said this was a person in distress and that they needed like attention immediately like i'm not about to jump to conclusions on anything like that but apparently the girl that was streaming really loud in the background was cheyenne and honestly this seems like an extremely toxic relationship i don't think they should be together i think this youtube comment summarizes this situation pretty well academics is convinced that these girls actually like him when in fact they're probably gold diggers and if he didn't have the money he has now there is no way that they would actually want to be with him so pretty much this whole situation 
not a good look for academics or anyone involved really anyway boys next couple videos are all going to be like five minutes plus i'm just going to go crazy on youtube this year so make sure to like share and subscribe and let's get it